Uh, my name is Alexi Levine, this is Desolinator, and I want to talk about the single greatest resource issue the world is facing, access to clean water. Now, from Africa to India to Latin America to South Asia, this is a major issue, and having spent six years living in India, I've experienced a little bit of this firsthand. But it's also an issue closer to home. This is from California, and last year we saw how an existential crisis very quickly became a real crisis for millions of people in California. This is a global issue. Today, one billion people do not have access to clean water. And the UN estimates that by 2030, half the world, so half the world will not have access to clean water. This is a huge, huge challenge of our time. And this is the face of the water challenge, of the water crisis. So whether you're in Malawi and you're a young mother walking four to five hours a day to collect water and paying a lot for it, whether you're in Cyprus and you're spending hours every month driving to the water kiosk and paying, again, a lot of money for your water, or whether you're here, this is in Tamil Nadu in South India, and primarily you get your water from this, from the water truck. You have to face a scrum of people. You have to bribe the driver. Most importantly, you're paying two and a half cents per liter, and I'd like you to remember that figure. Now, 98% of the world's water is in our seas and oceans, so you'd think that the natural way that we can deal with this crisis is to desalinate, to turn seawater into drinking water. However, today, industrial desalination accounts for about 0.5% of our world's drinking water supply, but it comes at a cost of 1% of our global energy supply. It's not sustainable. You have a lot of other solutions on the market. Some of them can deal with salt water, some of them not. You have these uh, reverse osmosis systems. They can go upwards of about 30,000, 40,000 euros. They need to be maintained. Uh, they need filters. They need energy. You have these solar stills. It's a 300-year-old technology, still available, but they don't last very long, and the yield is low. There's a gap in the market for a product that can uh, guarantee clean water that will give a yield sufficient for a family, and most of all, that's affordable. In other words, it's time for disruption. This is desalinator. This is a household desalination technology. You can put in any water, seawater, dirty water, brackish water, and it uses the power of the sun in a concentrated way to provide clean water, around 15 to 20 liters per day, depending on the, uh, on, on the sun and where you are. No chemicals, no filters. The idea is that a family can have this unit and have this product, and they have what we call water independence. This will last for up to 20 years. And let me talk a little bit about why this is special and how this works. Typically, with solar panels, around 85% of the potential energy that hits it is lost as heat. We turn that on its head. We harvest that heat. We heat the water up to around 90, 95 degrees. And then we use the electrical energy from the solar to boil it. We then take the boiled water, the steam, and we run it through a heat exchange mechanism. And what that means is that we're maximizing the potential energy that hits the, the, the system. Um, it's, we've been awarded a patent for this. Uh, and I should say, when I talk about the underlying magic, the part of the magic behind every great product is a great team. And we're very fortunate to have a phenomenal team of scientists and engineers and also successful entrepreneurs in our team. Now, best of all, Using our system, we estimate that we can create water for one cent per litre. And if you remember, in southern India, in Tamil Nadu, that two and a half cents per litre, if you compare that, this is a game changer. And this is what it looks like. This is on the roof of my house in, in India, in Kerala, and this gives you an idea of the kind of dimensions. And you can imagine some of these use cases. Uh, actually, we had already, we ran a crowdfund and we pre-sold around 300 units to people in California. So they want to use it for things like camping, for their households, uh, some of them for uh, crisis, for disasters. Uh, we also get a lot of inquiries. Every day we're getting emails from people who have boats and who have yachts and who are asking, can we do this in the sea? And the answer is yes. 
But how do we reconcile a global opportunity where we want to build a profitable, scalable business at the same time as creating social impact and understanding that water is a matter of life and death for many people? Well, imagine. Imagine someone in California buys our product, buys a desolinator, and from that, for every product sold, we provide 1,000 liters of water to someone in the developing world. Got it one to a thousand. So this is the, our, our hypothesis. And this is actually our first business model. Our first product is a premium product. It's an internet-enabled device, an IoT device, uh, which means you can manage it through your phone. And it's, a, it's aimed, we're doing our launch in, uh, and our, our field tests in Cyprus, and it's aimed primarily at places like California. We will do minimum order quantities for elsewhere in the world as well. But the idea is, we build a, we're creating a business impact, profitable business, and also social impact. For our next product, which is a very low cost version of Desolinator, which is for the developing world, which will come in year two, three, and beyond that, we see applications for community level systems as well. We're currently raising a seed funding round, uh, which I'm happy to say is nearly fully subscribed. We're looking to close that this year, and we have a model that takes us through the next five years. Now, if we're fortunate enough to win today, we've identified a project in Lake Turkana in, uh, in Kenya. It has some of the most alkaline water in the world, and it's a 100,000 euro project. And what we would do is fund match with, uh, with the, the prize money. We'll do it anyway, but we, it would really help us on the road to fund matching this particular project. Uh, so, that, yeah, fingers crossed. So this is what it's all about. Household by household, family by family, Water independence for a billion people. Thank you very much.